travel with me. Hey, fellow humans, Mina here. And Courtney here. With a special guest. <laughs> um, and Donna, I know you're here. There's a, there's that, the, the black one is Uyu, and then the, the brown one is Donut. I'm um, sorry about that. Um, she's not a guest writer or anything. She just, I'm just hanging out and she's like, you can film. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking her somewhere really cool. Yeah, We're about so, to go under a spooky bridge. Spooky bridge. Uh, so you're coming along for the ride and along with Courtney. Um, so first of all, we're just gonna go into this spooky tunnel under to the, the rice road fields. to the rice field. Does it echo? Oh, it's it kind of. Woo! <laughs> I was just about to do that. It's the best to do in the tunnel. Ah, ooh, pretty. I'll let you please me. Oh. Of course, your dogs won't perform. No, for they won't perform. They're, they're camera shy. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's good though. Yeah. It's like she knows I'm being. She's being filmed. She's like, ah. Yeah. First of all, before we get into today's topic, which Courtney will help remind me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I said I'd update you on that short story. Um, it didn't get accepted for publication, mm. even though they said it kept them on the edge of their seat the entire time, which Courtney was there for the story, so. I did, yeah, I was. Yeah, so <laughs> it's all true. So, but they did say it might be, oh, it's really nice over here. Is I'll just wait nice? for this. Is it pretty? Wait for the eye, do you want to pass? Okay. Wee, it looks really pretty. Beautiful, uh, and it, it doesn't is. even do it justice. Like, no. I care it does it. Uh, like, like uh, there's a gazebo of shit oh, thing. Oh, there's a car coming. Um, so, um, they said that the story um, is uh, might be a better fit for a later anthology. So let's work together, and uh, we'll we'll look into that. But if it doesn't. I'm gonna publish it for free somewhere, probably on my website and a blog or something at some point. Only fans. That's for videos. You could totally do it only fans. My your only fans could be reading reading my short stories in the shower or something. <laughs> this listen, you know what these days anyone can just post their body online, you know what I mean? Everyone's doing you could just you could have a niche. Is that a thing? Can you OnlyFans for writing? Is for that sure. is that an author platform that for I'm not sure. aware of? Let me like, know in the I, comments do you, do down you below. Are you inviting me to be in your video? Yet? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's another car coming. Yeah. Yay. Uh, Let's just jump into the rice field. Scoot over to the side. We're gonna jump into the rice field. Donuts paint. Awesome. Okay. Um. But yeah, I'll post it for free. Not on OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, but, but uh. Someone's got to read it. It, it is, I think it's a great story. And Courtney. Yeah, it's a great story. And uh, she's a pretty honest. If she didn't like it, she'd tell me. I was. <laughs> so, um, I probably wouldn't do it on camera, though. So you guys <laughs> would never know. But she told me in person. Yeah. Well, on cacao, but on cacao, same thing. Same thing. Uh, but she, oh, she would. coming? Of course. Busy today. We want this main one so that we don't get so many people coming through. Yeah. So uh, you'll eventually get this read it. It's 90% uh, true. I did change a couple of scenes to make the story more storyable English. Oh, nice. Yeah, but uh, she she knows what's true. Yeah. <laughs> you were there. Everyone white lies a little bit for good content, you know? Yeah, well, it's 90% true and it all happened and some of it just didn't happen altogether. But anyway, right. you'll see it then. It's a great story. But uh, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, today's topic. Mina, how do you go about balancing do I say that weird? I don't know. Balancing your <laughs> She's work life and your free time and being a writer all in one. So like that work life balance, which is so hard to maintain mm -hmm. just as a normal person, but then also having a hobby that you need to like make deadlines and like write pages and pages and pages. Like how do you balance work, life and writing? Very good question. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, <Hello. yeah. laughs> wait, wait, wait before, nice. before we go up, there's the closer view of the gazebo. Thing. I'm hoping to have some, uh, maybe some barbecues there or something. Uh, picnic, maybe a picnic. I'm not sure. There's a, it just can you see? Is the, it beautiful? Yeah, I'm not. I'm just trying to get like the air. Ooh, look and at the sunset. To be the time of the year where the rice turns golden. And it's also not murder heat. I know it's so nice for you. Love that. When first year here, I picked this one rice of these patties, stalks, by and the I hung way. it on my door, and I've had it at every house ever since. So yeah, she's moved like every year I've known her. <laughs> four times in three and a half years. <laughs> I think last year is the only year you didn't move. Right. Yep. I moved in in March of last year, and then I didn't move until this summer, and then I moved again. <laughs> so this is my last move, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. Unless this house burns down or something. I don't know. You paid a lot of money for it, yeah. so hopefully well, I didn't. Move. But yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Anyways, work life balance. <laughs> work life balance. Um, work life reading. No. 
Yeah, well, reading, well, reading is part of it because reading if you too. want to improve yourself as a writer, I think you have to read a shit ton. For I did sure. a video on that before. Check it out on Courtney's head at oh some God. point. <laughs> uh, um, it's difficult, but it's possible. Oh, you just let them go? Oh, yeah, there's no one over here, so we can do it. And I have. What do you mean there's no one? We passed like 50 people. They only go down that main road, but like over here, mm. we'll be really lucky if we see like one or two people. Uh, and they're chill. They're good doggies. They are good doggies. They're like they're sniffing fun. all the rice stuff. Yeah. Okay, so first, do you have any? What would you do? I know you're not a writer. Well, I have other things to balance. For me, I volunteer a lot and I don't volunteer as much as you probably have to write, but <laughs> I think having a plan, I, I know planning can be hard, mm. but trying to at least sit down on like Sunday, come on my buddy, sitting down on Sunday and doing like what, okay, what do I need to do for the week? Mm. And having it written down somewhere is really yes, important. Yes, I, when I plan on doing something, I like writing it down. Yes. Having it written down kind of like cements it in stone, like it's like, it's just like, for sure. it's down, y'all gotta do this shit, you know? For sure. Um, and that's why I also have a calendar on my front door. That mm, way, every time calendar. I leave the house, I see my like calendar for the month of, you know, when th- I'm doing what. I think you also have to like make time. For sure. Like if if you have, I don't know, like you're working like a full time job, nine to five. I don't work nine to five, but close I work, enough. Right? Close enough. It's like an hour difference, yeah. but same thing. <laughs> so you're working nine to five, and then you go home and you gotta cook food in theory. Uh, like some people order out or whatever right. but like, but like and then you gotta cl- you gotta clean your place right. and take care of the doggos in Courtney's case right. and her snake and her snails and her entire zoo yeah. <laughs> or in my case Soren right. um, you know you're, you're cleaning and then you're you're just sitting there and you're like well now I don't want to do anything right so because you, you're like dead right but um in order ooh, that's Will you please, please don't go there. Oh no, you, oh, he's like the water, way down there. <laughs> Be a good doggo. Good dog. Look at them run! Ah! <laughs> so yeah, uh, writing, writing it down, like just even just for 15 minutes. Right. Like you don't have to like plan like three hour writing sessions if you don't have the right. time, especially if you're like got a yeah, super they busy call that, life. Like pockets of time, right? Yeah. The the girls who do like the multi level marketing pyramids. Oh my god. <laughs> they always say pockets of time. They're right about that. You know, when I first wake up in the morning, I always clean something before I go to work. Either mm. I vacuum or I like unload the dishwasher or I put clothes away or throw a load of laundry in, just mm-hmm. so that when I get home, there's like one less thing I have to do, so that I can fit my hobbies in a little bit better. Like ba- if I want to bake something or play Nintendo mm. or go volunteer. And in a writer's case, you would switch bake with a little bit of writing. Yeah, right. So you just gotta like, just find like 15 minutes should do. Like, and even if you don't get a lot done in that 15 minutes and all you manage to do was write like a sentence, that's a nothing. sentence that you didn't write before. Better than so nothing. now you have a sentence and then maybe that sentence will translate into a paragraph and then maybe you get into like a 20 minute writing spree where you just write like a page which right. is great so basically essentially i think writing it down yeah writing it down and plan, plan make a plan in advance like but i also try not to like yeah if it doesn't happen yeah, don't, don't don't beat myself up about it right yeah if someone messages me like hey let's do this like today mm. and i had some like i had like something i wanted to do like get the laundry done i'll sacrifice my laundry yeah go have fun sometimes literally so yeah it's it's not a huge point but it's like it's the minor things you know right that make a difference and that you know it's and it also not just for writing it'll also help you with like other life shit like if you like do the laundry right (laughs) you know if you're having trouble yeah at least like for things like that at least have like a mental list because i know not everyone is are like list people but like Mm. at least spend a minute thinking in the morning like all right what do i need to get done today Mm. i need to do i need to write a page so yeah so essentially planning it out and just like just find a spare time like maybe during lunch if you finish your lunch early just sit down for like 10 minutes even and just like do a little bit of writing or if it's not writing a little research for your writing because sometimes you got to research research did i say the right word research, research? Yeah. yeah come here donut did i pronounce it right come here buddy research yeah for sure Awesome. I think you did. I don't know. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find yeah, out. When sure, I... like 100%. You were totally right on it. 1,000%. Oh, no, no, we'll find out when we edit. <laughs> but yeah, so just write, make a little plan. And even if you don't write it down, make a mental note in your head. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you this week. Just 
I thought it'd be fun to have a guest on this. <laughs> it's me. It's me. Guest Say. on the show. Plus two doggos Plus who are just the all the way over. It's all, they're all over the place no. over there. I think there's something growing here that might be interesting. Let's it see. Like what are they growing? Like maybe cabbage? Cabbage! I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that, farmers. <laughs> oh, there's big poop. That's this not your dog. Is, no, that's definitely not my dog. <laughs> it's bigger than your dog. You know, the, the nice thing about living in the countryside is like, we were just in my apartment like a few minutes ago. And now we're in the middle of this yep. giant rice field, which I don't know, maybe that's boring to some people, but uh, it's a new background that I don't usually have in my right. video. Rice so fields? I thought it'd be cool to like, sure. cause this is not somewhere I'd usually walk. Right. Like her place is like, I don't know if you could see buildings over there, but it's in called, it's direction. close. It's in that direction right. where there's actual like civilization <laughs> and there's civilization that way. And in but, between the civilization, there's rice. <laughs> in between the civilization is rice. And there's a, like a main road highway thing over there. Look at the sky. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. <laughs> ah. happy so yeah, that's all I got for you this week. What do you have for making time for writing what are your suggestions my fellow humans let drop me them in, in the comments let me know in the let comments. me know below in the comments down in the below. comments down below baby <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh yeah and uh don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun jazz like subscribe ring that bell if you think you're subscribed double check because youtube be unsubscribing oh, yeah, people that. if you hit that it? bell hit un unhit the bell and hit it again because i heard a youtuber say that today so i guess that's <laughs> what we're saying now yeah i i haven't been saying it for like a hot minute right like since i started my channel and i'm like everyone does this and i'm like i don't want to be like everyone else but right. like i should probably do it because it's okay they, though it, they, you're kind of actually kind of supposed to apparently yeah to at least i guess it's good for um algorithm shit algorithm yeah right. yeah so uh, by the way oh for the algorithm in the comment box below drop um is there a rice emoji I don't know. Drop some sort of food emoji in the comments. I like potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I will watch this video later and I'll put a watermelon. So if you don't see a watermelon, it's because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I'm sorry. Listen, if you pee here, no one will even know. <laughs> My dog's already dead a thousand times. <laughs> Aliens. Oh my god, it's a crop Aliens. circle. That's so cool. Oh, oh. anyway. Um, I didn't mention it in this video, but I have a debut LGBT plus novel, Ooh. South, which by the way, Courtney was the very first person ever to pre-order it. I was. <laughs> um, she wasn't the first to get it because it took a while to come it in. It did take me a while to get it. Um, but uh, uh, That's international shipping for you. Yeah. It's, it's not on pre-order. It's available now. To paperback, hardback, ebook. And it's a great steal as well. Yeah. Any version you want, to any store you want, links are in the description down below, so make sure to pick up a copy and leave a review on Amazon Indoor Goodreads. It helps an author out. And anyway, that's all I got to say for now. If you want to keep hearing more about South and maybe occasionally see Courtney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to follow me and all your favorite social links below. Stay safe and take care. Bye. Bye.